Today we're going to take you across eight beautiful sites around the southwestern tip of Madeira. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Fulfill, Fulfill the, the Game, game of, of Life. Life. Well, we're excited to be continuing our four video series of Madeira. This is video number three. If you missed the previous two, you missed some fantastic sights to see and such a beautiful island. But let me tell you, these last two are going to knock your socks off. This they, is such an awesome place. Absolutely, they really are. But we'll leave in the comments the links to the other videos if you missed those. Yep. So we have a large route to show you. So let's uh, not keep talking about it. Let's get on the road. So we had mapped out pretty much what we wanted to do here. And a little bit of it we knew was backtracking completely. The, uh, the tour, the village tour that we showed you. But we wanted to head west again, but instead of the village tour, which was headed west and going almost instantly north, we wanted to hug all the way along the southern coast. So we went southwest all the way across the island and then back up and then we double back a little bit. One little note of curiosity, if you're not really familiar with Google Maps, maybe it's just enough for me to show you that you can uh, add multiple stop destinations. It's not extremely obvious until someone points it out. I had to go Google it to find it. Uh, but once you do that, you know, you get a pretty good view of uh, the overall travel, but it's a small island, so it really wasn't a, a big concern. So on our first road trip, we left from our hotel at Alto Lido to pick up our rental car. Yeah, fortunately it was in walking distance. Absolutely, so that was really convenient. Hey, we're here for the morning. Good morning. We have rented a car to explore the rest of the island. It should be fun. Where's the key? Thank you. Ready for a day of adventure. This is gonna be awesome. Hopefully we don't crash a drone or the car. <laughs> we were on our way to our first stop, Caix de Ponta do Sol. Yeah, so first of all, we've showed you a little bit of the drives that we've already taken, but uh, the roads were easy. And uh, as you're going to see, there are so many tunnels across this entire island that just make travel between the peaks and the valleys really short and really simple. And uh, we arrived here through the city and uh, we actually uh, had our first inaugural flight of Henry the Third. Uh, Henry the Second's demise um, is another story for another time. Uh, but uh, we took off here. And uh, we got some beautiful footage. This is a beautiful place right against the, uh, the ocean here. And uh, as you can see here from the footage, you see the, uh, the arch over the ocean. And uh, as you see the drone, it comes around the corner and uh, you can see the coastline. It is beautiful. Just it, absolutely gorgeous. It was really gorgeous. This entire island is just absolutely an amazing place. So the moment we leave, we enter a tunnel and then we exit the tunnel to the next stop. And we weren't quite sure what this place was called, but it was a bridge and a natural arch. And we definitely took some time to get some footage for Instagram and uh, just enjoying the view. It was just quite amazing. That's pretty cool. Again, the cliff views were awesome and uh, the arch was cool. Just a sight to behold. You come up, you come through the arch, you look down at the ocean. It's, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. And, and again, just through the tunnel. I mean, literally maybe 200 yards and uh, you see this straight from the city. And uh, we are soon back in the car and uh, literally another maybe one kilometer away. And guess what's next? Another waterfall? Yes. <laughs> Are you going to guess that the whole video series? Well, Every time asked, I say something, you said you're going to say another waterfall. <laughs> and most of the time you'd be right. <laughs> but yes, a fantastic waterfall. The one we've already showed you, which is called... Anjos Waterfall. Which is the waterfall that is straight onto the road. 
And you can see here in the footage, people love to stop. This is a tourist attraction. Uh, you can walk under it if you want to. Uh, it was a little bit too cold for us. Uh, we got real close to it, walked around it, and walked <laughs> near it, but not quite through it. Uh, but we did drive through it. We did. It was cool. It was cool. It's it was like cool. going through a car wash. And it looks like this thing probably runs most of the year. Uh, really, really cool little thing to stop and just uh, experience. Well, so after we took a quick in the road shower, <laughs> uh, stripped down to our skivvies, not really, um, but we're, <laughs> we're back on the road. So we arrived at Praia de Caixe. Mm -hmm. Honestly, this, this little village uh, not only was beautiful approaching it because of the extreme altitude uh, and then down the side of the mountain, but when you got there, and uh, this was actually a, a really cool place because of a couple of things, we get to the end. Uh, drive all the way to the end of the streets, basically, and uh, at the end uh, there is a bay, uh, mm -hmm. but there's also a waterfall. A waterfall there and is a big, a big giant bronze, bronze statue, statue. Um, which was actually really cool. You could, could walk literally right up to it and, uh, and look at it. Um, and then uh, started up the side of the mountain, completely unaware of what I was going to, uh, to observe, uh, but Christy, on the other hand, <laughs> I wasn't up for the challenge. I saw how far the um, up the mountain he was going to have to go. So I decided, I, you know what, I got this. Yeah. I got this. I may pay for it later, but I got this. So I headed up, uh, headed up the side of the mountain to the top of the waterfall that you could see from the bottom. And uh, Christy stood down there, I think, and just stared at that waterfall for a while. I did. It was, it was, it was cool. It was very nice. I loved it. Um, but as I turned the corner from where the waterfall was, couldn't, you couldn't see the waterfall from on high looking down, uh, the one that Christy was beside, but as I turned the corner, it was a massive waterfall off in the distance. So the one that, the waterfall that Christy was standing beside is the Paul Dumar mm -hmm. waterfall. And uh, the waterfall, as I came around the corner, that was much more majestic, honestly. And it, it appears for sure, looking online, that you can approach this thing from the top and uh, hike your way down, but it's called the Camino Real Waterfall. Yeah, that was all. It really was awesome. And of course, Christy never got to see it. She only got to see the footage, <laughs> just like you. You only get to see the footage. I slowly meandered myself back down, but honestly, down is a little bit scarier than up because you're at such an altitude. You know, when you're going up, you're looking up, but when you're going down, you're looking over the cliff. Uh, but it was, a, it was a fantastic stop. Strongly suggest, honestly, uh, one of the better villages uh, that we we visited. Fantastic little place right at the end. So on to the next spot, and it was a beautiful lighthouse, and it is called Faro da Punta do Parco. Now look, this is one of the top six, maybe for me personally, maybe top five or four. Um, I, as I came out of the tunnel, who would imagine once again the tunnel, uh, approaching the lighthouse, uh, I wasn't so blown away. And then if you're in Portugal and you're along the coast as much as uh, we are, they're actually lighthouses are fairly common. Once you've been here for a year, you see lighthouses quite common. Um, as we got out of the car, still, hey, this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. And then we look over the edge. <laughs> it was, it was, I mean, there are so many breathtaking views on the island and this didn't disappoint either and once we watched the footage that uh, henry the third took it was just breathtaking it's yeah, quite amazing it, it, that altitude that level of altitude and we we did have someone on our last video say you know what the the video does do pretty good and to show the the magnitude of the altitude and uh, when we looked over this edge, uh, it, we are up here, man. It is beautiful in the ocean. You can see the, the rocks down in the, uh, really look almost like boulder size, uh, mm -hmm. down under the water. Yeah. And uh, it, it was phenomenal. And then to your point, the, uh, the drone footage only made it more phenomenal. When, if you could stand there and look around the edge and see the entire coastline like mm -hmm. you can see on the drone footage. Yeah. I actually loved it. I thought it was uh, fantastic, and uh, it's the very western point, as you'll see on the map here, uh, the very western point of the island. I thought it was phenomenal. So from there, we headed north back to Porto Muniz to spend a little bit more time there. 
Yeah, so in the last video, we spent quite a bit of time there. We showed you, we had lunch there. I think it's a top three, top four site on the entire island that we saw. But one thing we forgot to mention is uh, CNN's ranking. And uh, this is a cool little display here at the lava pools. It looks like the CNN uh, trip may have been kind of this coordinated effort to bring awareness to the island because it shows the lava pool here. We showed you the CNN ranking on the Caraydos. the, sl the on wood the basket sled yeah. uh, coming down. Uh, so uh, just cool. And uh, we forgot to include it in the other video. We're back in the car again. And uh, once again, we're backtracking a little bit because we knew, we told you in the other video, we visited while we were riding, but we wanted the drone footage of all these waterfalls and uh, the rock formation. So uh, once again, we went to... Miraduro da Ribeira de Janela. Yep. So we showed you all of that in the last video. If you uh, really want to catch up and you want to see more of that and you're fascinated with that, just uh, log into the last video. Uh, but... We uh, backtrack our backtrack and uh, we headed up to one of the things that I think we were pretty fascinated with by watching other people's videos, which is Fennel Pond. Pond. And uh, that was just amazing. Yeah, that I mean, turned out wow. to be top four, top yes. three. That's amazing. That's amazing. Whoa. You see that? Yeah. Isn't that awesome? And we got plenty of drone or battery for the battery. Look at that. When we watch other people's videos, the weather itself uh, dictates a lot about what you see. And apparently this, this uh, Fennel Pond yeah, is usually covered with uh, heavy cloud coverage mm -hmm. and, uh, right and just kind of makes a misty uh, yeah. area where they kind of relate it to like something that you'd see in a horror movie. And that's not the weather we experienced while we were up there, but what we saw was uh, fantastic. It was beautiful. It was still amazing. This, uh, the footage as we're just walking up speaks for itself. So we'll let you uh, hear what we had to say there. And, uh, and then we're going to just let that footage with only a few words maybe here and there speak for itself. It was phenomenal. It really was. So enjoy. So as we had plotted out on Google Maps, all these places that we want to see, pretty much the end of the day was Fennel Pond. Pond. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a good eight hour day. Yeah. Eight to nine day. hour day. You know, yeah. we, we were on the road quite a bit. Uh, the driving is relatively short, but then you had the stops, uh, mm -hmm. then you had lunch. It was a long day. It was a fantastic day of just 
reliving the uh, Eight Village tour and just spending a little more time. Yep. But uh, we thought we were done. We were exhausted. We're on our way back, and we encounter another waterfall into the road so that was really cool yeah so look i looked hard and heavy afterwards uh, to to find this place it took me a while uh, it's not marked on any of the the google maps uh it's not marked on uh, uh google earth uh so it's kind of surprising that you couldn't find it um uh, made me think um maybe it is only on the road because um there was heavy rain and it's not on the road all the time um so i'm not really sure but uh, it was cool. We uh, able we were able to watch other people go through it, and uh, as this little bit of footage before the GoPro shut itself off. Uh, but we did get some footage as we rolled under it, and as you can tell, that's a lot of water. Actually, <laughs> it was super cool. That's amazing. That is so awesome. That pretty much wraps up about a 10 hour day. Uh, we were exhausted. We knew we only had the car for two days. So we uh, got back to the hotel and got some rest because we knew the next day we had another full day ahead of us. Yeah, it was a, it was a long day. It was a phenomenal day. I hope you enjoyed coming along on the trip with us. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss all these absolutely fantastic, amazing experiences that we get to enjoy and we wanna share with you. Yep, and uh, in the next video, the final video, a four of a series of four, which equals the final video, uh, we will take you on the east side of the island and really a little bit of uh, a, a third day that we uh, rented a car. So we had to go back, we knew we didn't get to see everything we wanted to see. So hope you tune in for that one as well. And uh, thanks for watching and, and adios. Adios. We'll talk to you in the next video.